Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Bow and Arrow Tarot. Today we're going to be doing the soulmate reading for the week for the sign of Taurus. Get right into it, pull out your two romance angel messages for you and your soulmate this week, Taurus. We have finances and career. Alright, this just came out for Leo as well. And then we have deception. Wow, somebody's wearing a false mask in this relationship, right? All right, interesting. So, we are also going to pull out your animal spirits for the week and see what kind of animal spirits you're dealing with this week. <clears throat> you may resonate with this animal spirit um, in yourself or as a time in your life, or your relationship, or it may also uh, resonate with you in terms of your partner, how they are presenting this week. So just take what resonates and what doesn't resonate and throw the rest away. Alright, Taurus. We have the oyster. Wow. Alright, another card. Very rarely comes up. And the panther. Alright. So fire energy and water energy. <clears throat> oyster. Alright, so let's just quickly look at these two uh, animal spirits that we have here. Um... The oyster is an animal spirit that very rarely comes up. Uh, it's interesting that certain animal spirits in this deck will come up oftentimes and others will not, but the oyster is one of it. The oyster talks about being very patient, uh, keeping secrets, hiding hidden treasures, all right? So <clears throat> the focus and the determination of the oyster is unmatched, all right? Um, Anything they put their mind to, they can accomplish. If you talk about what do oysters uh, create, they create these beautiful pearls out of uh, a lot of, you would say, determination, right? Concentration. Um, but the thing with the oyster type of personality, uh, and if you're identifying with the oysters, that oftentimes they can take their talents for granted. They can take their hidden treasures for granted. So this could indicate uh, somebody who has a uh, really special skill or talent, but they're just really not living in that talent right now. Uh, it could also be that they are uh, shy or they're doubtful about their talent. So the oyster coming into your life can also be like an awakening of uh, realizing your talents, right? Realizing your inner treasures that you have to give to the world. And then we have panther energy. Panther energy, of course, is fire energy. Now, the panther is quite interesting because the panther indicates uh, an annihilation of unnecessary things in your life. It talks about clearing obstacles, right? So the panther makes way for uh, spiritual progression. The panther makes way uh, for a positive outcome. Sometimes panther energy, when it comes in, it can be quite destructive at first. It can seem to be very chaotic. It's almost as if it takes the chessboard and throws all the pieces in the air, and then where they land, ultimately where they land, it turns out is perfect. But in the beginning, um, they can across as, can come across as being very chaotic, very disturbing, but ultimately it's a purging process. So. You can be identifying with panther energy in terms of uh, being in a pl place in your life where you're ready to get rid of superfluous uh, relationships, you know, unnecessary things in your life, unnecessary people, unnecessary interactions. This could also indicate somebody who comes into your life and kind of brings this tor turmoil, but in a very good and uh, positive way. So let's go right into your reading. We are going to pull out your three cards for your person and three cards for you, my lovely Taurus, and see what it is you're dealing with this week. I do resonate myself with Taurus energy a lot because I am a Taurus rising. And so although my son is in Sagittarius, I do have a lot of uh, Taurus tendencies and a lot of times the Taurus readings will, ri uh, will resonate with me. So, of course, don't forget the other placement of the planets in your chart and to look at those readings as well. Sometimes those readings can uh, resonate with you more. All right, so how your person sees themselves right now, we have a three of wands. And how you see yourself right now, we have page of cups. 
All right, let's move all of this up. I never know until I'm starting how far up I need to go to make room for the cards. All right. Now, how the person sees you is Page of Wands. And how you see your soulmate and your person is justice, equality. And how they see the relationship, we have a four of wands. Interesting, a sense of unity, bonding, stable, stable, stabilization, I want to say, or stability. And how you see the relationship is a six of pentacles. Wow. All right. So when we have finance and deception, interesting. So, and the purging, we have this fire and water energy coming out. Your person right now, let's look at both of them in turn. Your person is identifying with three of wands and you're identifying with page of cups. So your individual is uh, exercising a lot of patience right now, right? They are identifying with a waiting process. Um, Three of Wands also talks about a desire to go out in the world and to further your goal, your aims. But sometimes we have to exercise patience because there are things in the works, uh, there's decisions being made, or there are things that need to happen before moving forward. And so you need to be a bit patient at the moment about uh, realizing your goal. Now you're dealing with, uh, you're identifying with the Page of Cups energy, so you're feeling very kind of... Um, creative right now you're feeling very lovable you're feeling very affectionate you're wanting to kind of like express your affection page of cups is also the page of inventiveness right and so in that sense uh coming up with creative solutions it could be dates as well because we're talking about cups energies relational energy um you could be feeling like all of the work this week uh is on you to sort of bridge the that that emotional gap or sort of uh, bring out the affection in your relationship. Your person may be very kind of, uh, I want to say, distracted right now, especially if they're feeling like they're having to intentionally exercise patience and you're wanting to come forward with Page of Cups, which is more an expression of love. So they could be feeling very, you could be feeling that they're pulling away a little bit this week simply because you guys aren't really on the same page. Um, you're thinking about much more like you're identifying much more with a connection uh, and your person is very much more thinking about the future and they may come across as being a little bit less affectionate this week. How do they see you and how do you see them? Well, they're seeing a page of wands. So page of wands talks about, you know, moving forward with your ideas and your goals, moving forward perhaps with unique ideas, venture, right? To whom nothing is ventured, nothing is gained. So it's kind of stepping out in the world in a very uh, creative and unique way. Um, you may walk to the beat of your own drum. And this is how they see you. They see you as somebody who's very kind of unique, right? Who's very different. Um, and whose energy is all about kind of... Uh, testing the unknown in a way, right? You're kind of fearless. You're ready to go out and experience new things. I think they really enjoy this about you. However, you see them as the justice and equality. So it's quite interesting. I, I'm curious if, Taurus, you may see your person in a way that they may not feel right now. Okay? Because you're seeing them as being, as identifying with justice and equality, so in the sense of being very fair, very open. But we do have deception in finances and career. I wouldn't be surprised if this week you find out something has been going on again with your person that may not completely jive with the way you've been um, perceiving them, right? Um, like I said, you're perceiving them as being very equal, very fair, very up and up. But there is something that is kind of not out in the open. Uh, there could be some kind of obstacle that your person is dealing with and they're really trying to keep it away from you. Interestingly enough, how do they see the relationship and how do you see the relationship? They see it as a four of wands, so a unity, right? Four of wands and a lot of cards is the 11-11 soulmate energy. Um, but they definitely see this as a soulmate connection. But you see this as a Six of Pentacles relationship. So I wonder if you haven't had to maybe be 
the benefactor in this relationship. It could be that you've had to be kind of the one who brings the money, the one who makes sure the money stays in the in the in the family or the one the money stays amongst you. Six of Pentacles is the number for generosity and charitable work. It's the number for the benefactor or the card for benefactor. Um besides some other cards, but in this way the Six of Pentacles is very much giving of themselves helping others through their trials and tribulations. And I wonder if you don't feel sometimes like you're the one who has to really always kind of deal with all the money factors, right, Taurus? You're the one who has to kind of like concentrate on making sure that, you know, everything is all right financially. Your person could be coming to you a lot, asking for your support in that way. And I think that this week there may, it may come up why this has been the dynamic, okay? It may come up that your person has been waiting. I want to say deception is on the board uh, for the reading, but I wonder if it's really deception in a very nefarious way. I almost feel as though some of you are dealing with somebody who has behind the scenes been trying to deal with a financial issue. An example would be like perhaps an inheritance in a family that hasn't quite been legalized or come through just yet or formalized in some way. I feel like your person may be hiding something from you that is going to turn out to be a great re reward for both of you, but they're not sure about it and they don't want to necessarily tell you about it until they are. This could be very uh, oyster energy as well. Keeping a, a surprise hidden or inner treasures that they have hidden. But again, in a way that they're doing this in such a way that they don't want to uh, tell you about it before they're sure about it. All right. And I think that this is really going to be the major uh, factor this week for you guys, Taurus. You know, um, your person, your soulmate knows that you're very adventurous. They see you as a page of wands. And I think a part of this is that they want to keep... Uh, they want to continue to provide for you in that way. They want to continue to uh, keep up the facade that everything maybe is okay. Um, but I think they have almost like a surprise waiting for you. And so there's a deception there, but I don't think it's a deception in a way to hurt you or to take advantage of you. You know, I think it's a deception in the way that they have a surprise for you they want to tell you about. It can also be very panther energy as well in the sense that they may be clearing obstacles in their past that they've brought into this relationship. Um, and they're in the process of clearing those obstacles, but they may not have wanted to tell you about it again because they don't want to uh, either throw off this perception that you have of them of kind of having everything together or they don't want to scare you off or upset you or throw off the balance of your relationship. All right, guys, so this is going to be it. This is your reading for the week, Taurus. This is your soulmate connection reading. Some of you may resonate with the spirit animals of oyster and panther, water and fire. Finances and career deception are the messages on the board. But again, my intuitive read here is that this is not a deception in the sense of something nefarious, but perhaps like a treasure or uh, a blessing that uh, your person is waiting to be confirmed before they let you know about it. Now, and for those of you who want to go just a little bit deeper, you can always follow me on Patreon. I'm going to continue this reading with a deeper look with the uh, Alistair Crowley Thoth deck. And we're also going to pull out two oracle cards for Sacred Oracle deck just to see how you may want to, uh, what energy you may want to adopt to deal with this situation this week. And for those of you who want to see that reading, you can go ahead over to Patreon and that will be on the Patreon site, the extended Taurus soulmate reading for the week of August 24th to the 30th. But for the rest of you, um, I hope this resonated with you. If it did, please like and subscribe, share. Um, all of this helps my channel to grow. You know the drill. But for right now, Taurus, you know I love you. I have a wonderful week with you and your soulmate. I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.